All right, guys, you know it's going to be a good day when we've got the big tags hooked up to the back of our camper. Look at this. We had Alfred weld this up. We put a hitch on the back of the camper, and then we've got a 45-footer behind us. Because today, we're heading to our new mansion that we're going to be building with you guys today. We've got all these cars to go with us. We've got a Dodge Hellcat. Look at this. This is a red eye. This thing is absolutely insane when it comes to horsepower. I think it's a 850 under the hood. We've got a McLaren P1. This is like a rare track car. And then we've got a Range Rover and we've got a thousand General Polaris. So we're doing pretty good on the setups here today, but now we got to go build our mansion. So back a couple years ago in Elm Creek, we sold a mansion for much more than what we built it for. And then, you know, we had to move on. So now we're coming back and we want to live in Elm Creek again. So we're going to go build another mansion create the best property to have fun on and it's got a great view and there's going to be so much fun so let's get everything loaded up on the trailer let's get headed out to our new piece of land and then we're going to start building but i think i should take you guys for a little test drive in this hellcat this thing is insane oh my gosh I already spun out that's the problem there's so much power look at this we're doing 160 right now oh my gosh flying by the fire station and the police station you really can't get pulled over in this, though, because it's faster than the cops. So you just run away. Maybe we'll do a police chase with this thing, but it is just crazy fast. And it also gets eight miles to the gallon, so you can only imagine how many times I'm filling this thing up. Eh, let's not talk about that. Let's get this thing loaded up, and then we're going to get the McLaren on behind this. It's going to be a very tight load. We've got 45 foot of trailer space. We'll put the McLaren on here. The General can go on the back, and then the Range Rover. I think I'm going to have one of my friends drive it over. Alfred got sick, so he was unable to join us. Uh, hashtag pray for Alfred. All right, I say we back on the McLaren like we're doing as tight as possible to this Hellcat. And eh, right there is probably good. And then what we're going to do is the ramps fold up, and then we can put the general on top. So uh, let's fold up the ramps and put the general on top. There you go. We're done. We've got our first load. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to have my buddy Bob. He's going to drive the Range Rover over to our new property but we're ready to go let's take the black and yellow truck look how clean this thing is if you guys like this color combo comment down below i think it looks sick and uh we've got it on all the accent parts of it even the little high country badge there it's a pretty good looking truck all right let's get up and going uh, on the road we don't have all day we've got to build a whole mansion so uh we've got a little bit of time of daylight left and we're gonna get this mansion up quick but it's also going to look amazing, I promise. We're going to get all the cool decorations. Might even put in a pool. So, yeah, let's put in a pool. We can add so many other cool things. Trees, plants, lawn chairs, a gaming station. It can be anything you want in this game, which is the best part. Look at this thing going down the road. Oh, my goodness. It's like 100 feet long. All right, so our new piece of land is, is right in front of us. Check it out. Right there, we have it all leveled out. We had a construction company get that done. And we've got a great view of the entire city. So we actually got to go around the block to get the driveway access. I'll show you. It's pretty cool. We've got the camper with us just temporarily. Alrighty, here we go. We're pulling into the driveway. That is not here. So we have to build that in. But let's stop right here. We're going to put the hazards on. We're going to leave the truck in the street for now. And yeah, this is our land. So it's got a great view of the city and the highway too. It's not very noisy. The highway is like underground a little bit. So you don't really hear it that much. You can see the north city in front of us, the south city to the right of us, and then, yeah, you get the highway entrance, so you don't have to go far if you're going on the highway. So, yeah, we're all ready to get building, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoy the time lapse of us building our new luxury mansion cabin. It's a pretty cool build. I hope you guys stick around to see the finished product. We're going to do a full tour after, so let's get building.
And there you go. We are finished with our newest Elm Creek Mansion. I think it turned out really good. If you guys have any suggestions, comment down below. We went really big with all the plants, if you can tell. We added as much color as we possibly could to the house because the color is just wood of the house. It's uh, a cabin style, so it needed some popping color. Here is the garage. I want to show you guys a full tour of the place. We've got a two-car garage automatic lift here we've got all the tools you possibly need we already got the polaris sign up for our new general we got some ford posters look at that. that's a classic 1903 detroit michigan chainsaw of course we might actually have to take out a, a little tree down the road and uh because it's blocking our view we've got a vacuum cleaner and a lot of other cool stuff so that's our garage we're gonna put all the supercars in there you can't see over to the gate right now, but the whole purpose was to have a little bit of privacy too because we're right on the highway too. So we had to put up a big fence. Here's the front door. Well, let's check out the porch. We got a cup of coffee out here, a nice cappuccino. Grill along the side of the house, and then here's the view. So this is pretty cool. It's still kind of hidden. It's a little private too, but you got a lot of nice road going back here, and uh, there's all of our vehicles on the side. We're blocking traffic. Eh, what's new? Nice big porch, though. This is pretty cool. The lights go on at night, so if we're out here at night, it works out good. Let's turn the lights on. Let's see. There we go. Check it out. This place is fully furnished. It is looking good. We've got two giant chairs right here. We've got a big living room, weather channel up there, big fireplace, stereo, freshly made oven, frozen pizza. Check it out. I just made that about 15 minutes ago. It's, uh, it's looking good. We got the full kitchen. Look at that oven. Six burner stove tops. Uh, that's actually gas powered. We got a big fridge. And here's how we heat the place with wood. So if we uh, need some heat, we just put it in this furnace thing and it heats the whole place. All right, that's the first level. Now upstairs, we've got one bedroom only and it's a giant king size bed just for us. Look at this. This is awesome. We've got a nice, like, cool, like, wood rustic bed. It's got a cool little comforter on it. Cabin, cabin, relax, gone fishing. So yeah, there's actually a little lake down the road. Here is the view outside of our bedroom. Not too bad. Got a nice dresser here. And then we've got the computer here to play farming simulator. Oh, that's awesome to have. And then we've got our bathroom in here. We do need a little upgrade in here, I think. This bathtub needs to go. We've got a nice toilet here. So that's the full tour of our cabin. Now we're going to get onto the fun part. Get everything into the property, put away. Starting with the giant camper. This is going to be kind of tricky. I'd say we probably just pull straight into the property because we do have two trailers on the back. There we go. Clear up traffic. Oh, my gosh. That was tight on that trailer in the back. All right. We got the ramps down, and then the general should be good to unload. Perfect. Let's grab this thing. We're going to put this uh, actually outside for now. It doesn't need to be indoors. This thing is so sweet. We've got a winch on the front. It's so powerful, too. It's got like 200 horsepower, which is a lot for a little general. Here's the McLaren. Let's take the straps off the Hellcat here. Talk about a sweet car. Check this thing out. McLarens are like known for being one of the top end supercars out there. It's got a nice spoiler that goes up and down too. Helps you stay on the ground. And then let's back this thing in. Perfect. Oh my gosh, run out. There we go. Let's grab the, the 850 horsepower Hellcat. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I tuned this thing so much, but stock at 702. So... We added another 150 horsepower with the turbos, and then we did some tuning on it. Added a new cold air intake, which increases the speed and the acceleration, too. This one we're going to put over in the left garage area. Let's see. Open sesame. Perfect. Check out these red lights on the front. That looks so cool. Those are aftermarket, and then the real lights go in between that. So it's just a really cool add-on. Uh, this trailer, we're going to back over here alongside the house as long as the camper and that can fit so let's go ahead and attach that the camper is going to go first and then the trailer can go next to it so let's test out my backup skills here all right we're doing pretty good so far until we mess up all right i'm counter steering two trailers at once this is pretty crazy some people can't even do one there we go now let's crank the trailer around look at that that's awesome all right oh no okay you gotta go slow because it's easy to make a mistake straight back there we go let's turn it the other way now it'll straighten it out okay perfect now we just got the camper hooked up so we're gonna back this all the way down the driveway see how our backup skills are i mean i drive semis so i mean what's new this is pretty similar it's just impossible to do it with two trailers 
Here we go. We're going about 15 miles an hour. This is quick. There we go. Crank it around the building. Perfect. I built a designated spot just for the camper here. There we go. Camper is set. So until we go camping, it's going to sit over there. Let's go grab the Big Tex trailer too. Because that's going to go alongside the house. There we go. Straight back. Looks good. Hopefully it fits next to that camper. I think it should be okay. There we go. That's perfect. Look at that. All right. Let's take everything off here. There we go. Winch it up in the air. Perfect. Look at that. That is awesome. We got the picnic table back here still. But it's kind of blocked in by the trailers here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We just got to do one more task. And that is to clear out one little tree over here. All right. Let's actually take the truck up here. We got the chainsaw in the back. We're going to take out this tree right here. We're going to leave this little one, but this one needs to go. So we're going to mark it up. There we go. We're going to take it out. Let's see. Let's grab the chainsaw real quick. Actually, we got to put it down here. X marks the spot, right? Here we go. Timber. Perfect. All right. Let's chop it all up here. We can use it for firewood for our furnace too, which is nice. And now check it out. The view is much better when we stand on our porch. We can see a little bit over there in the other town. So it helped a little bit. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions on what we should add to this new property in Elm Creek. We're probably going to end up selling it for way more than what we spent to build it, which is kind of cool because it's like an investment. We make money on it. And hey, the view is great. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it if you're still sticking around. If you are and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It helps us out so much in continuing to make these videos. Thanks so much, guys, for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.